Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this problem, we have given a matrix and it is saying for the matrix to have rank 2, what should be the value of A and B? Or for the matrix to have, I mean, 2 or 3, I mean, the, this is two sub problems. To, so, the matrix to have these values of rank, what should be the value of A and B? Okay. So how we will approach this problem, that's most important, otherwise uh, rest of the things you know. So the problem here is to find out the value of A and B, right? So our approach should be to make these to this row zero. Getting my point? Yes. Our approach should be such that we will try to make this row zero. So how we will do this? we will just apply a simple transformation or uh, elementary transformation that we will subtract R3 from R3 we will subtract uh, 6 times of yeah R1 and then from R2 we will subtract 2 times of R1 right so it will be the first column our approach is what we will do R3 will be replaced by R3 minus 6 times of R1 okay and R2 will be replaced by R2 minus 2 times of R1 so it's always good to choose a row to subtract from another rows which have 1 okay so that the multiplication will be easy so here we have chosen row 1 to subtract from other rows by multiplying the values okay so choose a row which has 1. Fine. Now, the value after this transformation, the matrix will become first row will be same 1 minus 2, 3, 1. It will become 0. It will be uh, 1 minus 4, minus minus 4, so 5. And then minus 1, minus minus 6, so minus 7, 2 minus this will again 0. Now, this will become 6 so it will become 0 this will become minus 2 minus minus of 6 times of 2 so it will become 10 then a minus 6 times of 3 that is 18 and b minus uh, obviously 6 okay so this is the value now what we will do we will try to zero this thing also okay as first element is 0 now second we have to try to make 0 so what we will do we will subtract the, as this is 0 so this will not be affected if we subtract R2 into something from R3 okay so what we will do we will subtract R3 will be replaced by R3 R3 minus 2 times of R2 okay so now the matrix will become 1 minus 2, 3, 1, so 0, 5 minus 7, 0, and here it will be 0, this will be again 0, then a minus 18 minus of 2 times of 7, so it will become uh, 2 times of 4, so it will become a minus 4, and then b minus 6 minus of 0, so it will remain as b minus 6. Fine. Now, if the matrix has rank 2, right? So let's, our concentration is here. Here. If the matrix, first one is the matrix have rank 3. Okay, so if the matrix have rank 3, 3, then this should not be 0. Okay, or this should not be 0 because I need to have one of the minor of 3 cross 3 not equal to 0 okay so if I choose this minor okay in any of the combination one of this row one of this column will be there okay when we choose minor of 3 cross 3 whatever be the possible combination one of this row one of this column will be there in the combination so either a minus b a minus 4 not equal to 0 or b minus 6 not equal to 0 okay if both are 0, then we won't have any of the minor not equal to 0. Okay, so our value will be 
so the first for first this to have rank 3 we will have either a not equal to 4 a not equal to 4 or b not equal to 6 ok or fine now for the second problem ok where we have rank e minor equal to uh, sorry rank equal to 2 so in this case to be rank equal to 2 the most important condition is this 2 this entire row should be 0 right that's why the all the rows are 0 then in this case we will have to form minor of 2 cross 2 2 cross 2 and we will have to check so the important condition here is this a minus 4 should be equal to 0 and b minus 6 should be equal to 0 ok got it so in this case what will be the value the value will be both a equal to 4 and b equal to 6 fine so now here it should be and here it should be this or this ok so for rank to be 2 it depends on both a and b and a equal to a should be equal to 4 and b should be equal to 6 but for rank to be equal to 3 ok either a should be equal to 4 or b should be equals equal to 6 both should not be there ok fine ok so rank to be 3 not both both cannot be 0 fine so it depends one on one of a and b I hope this problem is clear to you if you have any doubt ask your question in doubt section see you in the next lecture thanks for watching